Hey guys, it's Clovis, and today we're going to learn how to beat Necromancer, aka Bones, or Bonds as it's spelled, in three turns! And of course, if you don't have Dimensional, four turns. This guy is a pretty interesting minute, but of course, if we talk about the three turn, a very simple strategy, you notice a lot of the time we leapfrog with Dimensional. But some duelists there are kind of different rules to apply for it. And one of the main ones, like Minotum Furbler Chakra, is this guy can open with Dark Hole. So our safest bet is to actually make sure that we activate Dimension Hole on the first turn. And the importance of playing it top right is that this way he doesn't interrupt us. What we can do is move forward the turn after, and then we attack him from his left tile. And then for whatever reason, unless he plays a Pumpkin on his second turn, even if he can beat our card, he plays it to the left, and then he moves it forward, out of the way. So, as long as the card that we have that strong on Wasteland has 2,000 attack or higher, we can just destroy him in three turns, and unless he plays a Pumpkin, specifically a Pumpkin, on his second turn, which is really unlikely by the way, then he's just gone. That's it. He's dead in three turns. That really is as simple as it is. So, with Dimension Ore, if you open with it, you play it top right, activate it forward, that way you dodge the Dark Hole, and then, the thing is, you're only really likely to see a Pumpkin if he Dark Holes you on the first turn. So, if you're able to attack him directly, and he kills that with the Pumpkin, then you can move to the left, play top left, and hopefully attack him again and lethal him. Because if you don't at that point, you're in a lot of trouble. You're in a really bad position, and it's going to be very dangerous for you to continue that. Now, again, in failing to draw Dimension All, which is a very common scenario, always is, there's actually a really oddly specific manipulation that we can do to this guy that will actually put him in a really scary position for himself that will allow us to attack him directly on the third turn and then hopefully follow up on the fourth turn for lethal damage. So we open by moving forward and playing top left and moving this card up. Now ideally you want a high attack card. You don't have to have it as a high attack card. You can also just have nothing really, but as long as it's a card you can go ahead and put it on this tile. Now on the second turn, you move that first card to the left, and then you want to play another card to the right of the card you just moved there. Now ideally this is not a monster, you can have a monster, but if it's a non-monster, it will just save you time if he attacks it. Now he will only attack this card if he has a card that's high enough attack, like 2k or higher I believe as a threshold, but it doesn't really matter too much, because the importance is, with this monster on that tile, and this card that you've just played on this specific tile, now he plays to his right, which actually blocks his deck leader from moving to the right, so he decides to move forward. And now, if you've noticed, on your third turn, if you play a card that's strong on Wasteland to your top left, you can flip up and attack him. So you go ahead and do this with the high stack card you have that's strong on Wasteland, and then on the third turn, if you can follow up attack with the same card, or somehow attack him with a different card, you can kill him in four turns. That's it. Quite consistent as long as you have a card that's strong on Wasteland on your third turn. Now I do believe it is possible for him to not do this manip if your first card is not a monster, so I would recommend trying to play a monster on the first turn at all times. Again, there are alternate strategies and other sort of backups that you can do, but ultimately, if you do this specific setup, the likeliness, unless he dark holes, the likeliness of you killing him in four turns, provided you have a card that has 2,000 attack or higher that's strong on Wasteland, is extremely high. And it's a very, very consistent manip. This is one of the most consistent duelists in the game. So go and give this a try yourself. Again, if you do exactly what I do, especially if you make sure the first card you played is a monster, and the third card you played is something really strong on Wasteland, you should be able to beat this guy in four turns. Like all the time, uh, unless you fail to draw that damage, of course. So, yeah. Now, of course, this video is intended to be like a speedrun tutorial video. This is your goal, ultimately. The only thing that can really go wrong apart from failing to draw your cards is if he dark holes you, in which case you're gonna lose time no matter what you do, and there's a bit of a free-for-all after this point. And of course, the scary thing usually about the enemy playing a spell and not a monster in their first hand is that now they can start to play their really high attack cards. And if the enemy don't have a monster in their hand that's 4 SP or lower, 
it's quite likely that they have a card that is 6 SP like the Pump King. And you know, Pump King around his deck leader on the Wasteland is going to be 2800 attack before any equips. It's quite ridiculous. So, ideally, you just don't see Dark Hole at all. Hopefully, you see the Dimension Hole and you play it and you dodge it anyway. And then, hopefully, you can destroy him in two hits, as we talk about with most of the, the duelists in the game that we're trying to defeat fast. We rarely can OTK them, you know, unless you've somehow you got Mooka Mooka with a bunch of cards in the graveyard, you can't really OTK anyone, so. Yeah, two hits, hopefully is enough to kill him. But ultimately, that's going to be it for this video. So um, yeah, implement that however you wish. It's a pretty cool manip, and it, once you learn it, it's really hard to forget. It's actually quite consistent too, and it's quite fun to do. Especially, you know, between a duelist like Darkness Ruler and Bones, these little manip things, like, you know, if you showed someone who played the game what this manip's like and told them that you can easily defeat these duelists, they probably won't believe you until you see it and they might be pleasantly surprised, so yeah. Thanks again for watching. Again, my Twitch is in the description. Just gonna plug it because I do speedrun on my Twitch, so yeah, check me out if you want to see some live runs. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.